this video I want to show you how to perform first setup on iRobot Roomba J9 Plus. To do this, uh, first uh, of all make sure that your charging station is connected to the power source uh, and just place it somewhere for the setup, you can actually place it anywhere you want. Uh, also make sure it has a Wi-Fi signal in that place. After that we can move to our smartphone and download app called iRobot. I have it right here. You can find it on the Google Play Store or any other store that you're using. So when the app is downloaded it will begin to search for any products and in this case I'm gonna... Sorry, uh, I'm gonna skip it. Now uh, you should be able to find your robot already right here on the top, but if not, we can select the products on the bottom. Scroll down and go for vacuum and mop robot, then there's uh, the J series. And uh, again, there's a checklist. You will need uh, the charging station, your robot, and the access to Wi-Fi. So we're gonna go with get started, then set up a char charging station, as I said, and drive in your robot into the charging station. Now uh, our robot is uh, ready and uh, you should also wait I think like a minute or something after you drove it into the charging station. You will also hear the chime and that means it's uh, ready. And then we can continue, enter the password for the Wi-Fi, make sure to use uh, 2.4G uh, networks instead of 5G. And here's our robot. Now we can continue. Continue, but first we need to factory reset our robot. If uh, your robot is brand new, then you won't be able, you won't need to actually do it. But in this case, we need factory reset, factory reset. Uh, so there's entire tutorial on how to factory reset the device. So we need to remove a bin, press and hold the robot button for about 7 seconds or until you hear a sound. Then tap the button again to confirm it, you will hear a sound. Then we can proceed uh, with the setup. So let's do it. There's the bin right here, I'm gonna remove it with this button. Then uh, there's uh, the button that's glowing red and we need to click and hold it for 7 seconds until we hear a chime. and then press on it once again. Our robot should return to factory settings. Let's wait for another chime or just a few moments. Or actually on the app it says uh, that we can proceed when the button display is circling white and it is for me so we can continue. Reinstall the pin and wait for the robot to boot up. Booting up takes about 2 minutes, the light will continue to swirl white as the robot boots up. You'll hear a sound when uh, the, this is complete. So let me reinsert dustbin and then wait.
Okay, so the entire re re rebooting uh, process is finished and we can continue. Now we can rename our robot, you can assign whichever name you like. I'm gonna stick with the default one. Okay, so here you can read through the introduction. There's uh, eight pages for that. I'm gonna skip through it. And uh, I just click on opt in for something. I didn't saw what. So maybe you can stop the video and actually check it. Uh, so finally, our robot is ready. And it's, uh, as I said, ready for your next assignment. So that will be it for this video. Hope you like it. Please consider subscribing to our channel. Leave a like and a comment below.